Put all, all right, tired. Uh, I'm getting there. Uh, about one more race, and I think I'll be done. Well, you did pretty good in the two you had tonight, but let's talk about this one in particular. That was a wild finish. Yeah, that was um definitely a gunner's race. I'm surprised we didn't have no cautions. If we did, I would have never got him. Um, there's that one lap car there that both of us kind of followed for three laps. Uh, kind of go in low, take my line, slide out high, take his line. And then I finally got under him. I think it's coming to the white flag. And I don't know if he got caught up in something because I actually expected him. I really screwed up in three on the last lap. I expected him to come around me on the outside. But when I saw the leaderboard, I saw Alec was second. And I, I didn't really know what happened to Gunner then. Yeah, not sure there. But his car definitely seemed to be off the pace a little bit the last couple of laps. Yeah, when with the, um, it seemed like it was really rubber down on the bottom. And... When we got lap cars in front of us, it's so hard to get around them, especially when when it's rubber down. It's almost like a heavy track, and he had it. I mean, his car is just flying. I had nothing for him in open air. But you had a pretty good car tonight. Yeah, um, we busted our butts today to get both cars ready. We ran Clinton County last night with both of them, and then this is only my second night in a 305, and we got 10th out of like I don't know how many there was 22 cars. So. And then to be able to come out in this and be able to win it after spending so much time these past few weeks on that 305 to get it ready is just awesome. Well, you did a really good job. Let's give some thanks to the people that make it all possible. Uh, my parents mainly, Hyper Racing, Spar Engine, Lias Tire, American Racer Tire, VDR Products, uh, New Lombar Service, and then um, Mike Dicely and Jim Radney. We just, we battled all year from tracks being rough to just heavy tracks we couldn't get anything figured out and we just i think within the past week or two we put a new shock package on and so far we've ran it i think five races and we've won four of them so i can't complain at all not bad well a 10th place win in your first race in a full-size sprinter here and another victory in this car you're going to go home happy tonight ladies and gentlemen let's hear it again for our winner garrett bard